Hello world, this is Kai. Today we're gonna to be setting up an S3 bucket, which is Amazon's simple storage service, and we're gonna be connecting it to a CDN with our own domain name. So a CDN is a content delivery network, and really what this is gonna help us out with is addressing bottlenecks, right? Specifically with latency, and also this is gonna provide us some caching capabilities. So once a file is loaded by this server, the server is gonna save it into memory for a little bit so the next person who tries to access it can access it much quicker. Let's take a look at this infographic on the left here. And this is kind of what a standard file storage system looks like. You'll have a centralized server that a lot of these uh, users, hosts, computers, whatever you wanna call it, are trying to access. Now this person could be in Asia, this person could be in Australia, this person could be in the US, uh, this person could be in Africa, so on and so forth, right? So everybody trying to access, and I know the ge geographics of all that was not correct, but anyways, these people could be trying to access um, a centralized file system or storage system, and you know latency, but the amount of time it's gonna take to access this network is gonna be nuts. It's gonna be different for everybody, and it's really gonna depend on the location of this server for that latency to be low for the person trying to access it, right? That's where a CDN comes into play. And we'll use some Amazon Web Services terminology here. They have what are called edge locations, and each service will have a different name for this. But essentially, they're taking this centralized file system and splitting it up into these um, edge locations that are much closer to people geographically. So now the person in Australia may have, may have an edge location somewhere in Australia that this central server pushes that data to so that it's more quickly accessible by people. And not only is there lower latency between this, but also these edge locations are going to cache a lot of the files served, right? So if you have a very popular document, for instance, that people are accessing, accessing on one part of the world, then the server is gonna have it stored in memory so the next person who accesses it gets it much quicker. Cool, so that's pretty much like the technical part of it. Let's go ahead and actually get hands on with it. So I'm logged into Amazon Web Services. Ah, and there is a use case. So this is a two-parter. The first part, we're gonna go ahead and set everything up on S3 and then CloudFront and then set up the domain name so that we can access it just by typing something friendly in. Then the second part is we're gonna take a WordPress website and we're gonna connect the WordPress website so that all of the images and documents hosted on this website are actually being served from the CDN. Let's get started. We'll go to S3 here. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new bucket for a website that I have. The website is gonna be called, I'm gonna call the bucket media.casas mexicos.com and we'll choose us west 2 as the region i am actually going to enable acls right here and i'm going to allow public access because this is a publicly accessible bucket and we are not going to focus on the security for here i will allow bucket versioning because I make a lot of mistakes, and if I need to go back to a version of a previous file, then this is awesome for that. And we will enable server-side encryption because there's no reason not to. It's just a one-button click, and you're good to go with encryption. So, yeah. Go ahead and create that bucket, and here it exists, media.casasmagicas.com. I can access this bucket, right, with a... Let's get the URL somewhere. I'm gonna upload a file just to have something. I'm gonna grant public read access to this file so everybody in the world can just view this, uh, view this beautiful photo of a hotel that I took. Let's see, no. Copy that URL, open it up in a private browser where I'm not signed into Amazon. And cool, it's serving this file to us so we can go forth now and create that CDN. So to create the CDN, we're gonna go to a different Amazon service called CloudFront. 
And now CloudFront is really running on the back of, is really using S3 as its backbone. Excuse me. So S3 is still the monster file, like storage system that we'll be using and relying on. CloudFront is just gonna be another layer added to this to make everything a lot quicker. Now I'm gonna create a new distribution and the reason that we're gonna we're gonna connect it to the media S3 bucket that we just created, origin path, I'll leave the same. Now you could rename this Casas Mexico's Media CDN. Will be just my friendly name to remind myself what this is gonna be. I'm gonna leave all of this the same. Additional settings, this is um, we don't need to worry about this right now. It's very important, but we're not going to be using it. It's going to compress objects automatically, which is really nice. And we're going to redirect HTTP to HTTPS because we don't play that anymore. I'll likely need these other uh, operations here because we're not only reading from this. We're going to also be doing some other CRUD operations, right? Like updating files, deleting files and all that good stuff. And we'll leave all of this fine for now. Cool, this is one thing I'm gonna change because I am not serving like uh, globally. I'm just gonna be targeting North America market. So this is perfect for us. And this is gonna you know save us some money. If you use all edge locations, it's gonna be the best performance, but it's gonna cost you more. Whereas North America and Europe, you know, you're only paying for a small chunk of everything. Now this is where we're gonna start doing our own custom stuff. We're gonna go ahead and add an alternate domain name because, well, with S3, you saw the URL that we have to go to to access our files here. And for me, that's a little nuts. I wanna be able to just go to media.casasmexicos.com and know that that's where all my files are gonna be served. So we'll do that. We'll go ahead and add, uh, leave it as is. And because we're forwarding from HTTP to HTTPS, I am going to need an SSL certificate. So let me show you how easy that is to do through Amazon. The fully qualified domain name will be the media.casasmagicas.com. And you could, you know, add another name to this certificate. So the certificate works for more than one domain, or you can put wildcards here so that it works for multiple domains, right? So if I were to do this here, then it could be www and whatever but we'll go with media.casasmexicos.com and then we'll do dns validation as the way that we're gonna authenticate this uh <laughs> we're gonna authenticate this domain so this ssl gets issued to us let's see there it is okay so because I am using Route 53, we can do this cheat code and pretty much create the records in Route 53 for us. But let me go ahead and walk through this with you because it's honestly the same if you're using GoDaddy or any other, um, or you're using anybody else for your name servers. I have this domain in Route 53 already, Casas. Oh no, it's not, okay. Okay, so go to wherever your DNS is, right? In this case, it's gonna be on SiteGround. And we're gonna go ahead and create a C name here. And we're gonna paste in all of that information that we saw from over there, but we're gonna delete the domain at the end of it. TTL, I always like to start it off as little as possible so that this can certainly get propagated ASAP. Cool. And then we'll grab the CNAME value and then we'll paste that here. Hit create. And now we're going to have to wait for this to validate. It shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. So I'm going to light up a joint in the meantime. A few moments later, you'll hit that refresh button. You'll see that the certificate has been issued to us. So we can go back to that cloud front wizard that we were working on, hit the refresh button, and we should see that new certificate that we just created. Cool, we'll leave all of these settings as default. Everything is default, and we'll create the distribution.
And this is pretty much already working. This is gonna take a little bit to set up. You can see the deploying status here. So the CloudFront will take probably anywhere from like 10 to 20 minutes to set up that initial CDN for you. Well, the next step that we'll wanna do is pointmedia.casasmexicos.com to that CDN that we just created. So we can just go ahead and access files from that. So instead of like, ideally, this is what we're gonna want, right? Instead of having to type in s3.uswest2, we could just type in media.casasmexicos and with that file name there, such as so, but you can see that there's no um, DNS address here. Like the, there's really nothing going on with that right now. So what you'll wanna do, just copy that domain name Go back to your DNS zone editor. Okay, C name is created. We're gonna add another C name. And this is gonna be media.casasmexicos.com is gonna resolve to this right here. We're gonna create it, TTL again. I'm gonna choose five minutes to start off with. And so I'm pointing it to that CloudFront network. And once this propagates, then we're gonna be able to access everything. But we see that the status is enabled on the CDN, on this distribution as they call it. Let's go ahead and copy that domain name just for sanity, sanity check here. Type it in and cool. I mean, like believe it or not, this isn't bad. I mean, it is, you don't have access to the, to see all the files in there yet, but at least this is um, serving from the S3 bucket, which is great. And you could even, let's see. You could do something if you want to do another sanity check. Because really this is just running off of S3, right? You could even just hit that S3 URL. Oh, let's see. And see if you get the same results, which we do. So that means that, you know, this is perfect. Now, the last piece of the puzzle is let's try to hit it at media casas magicas before i was getting this dns address issue and i still am in fact so i want to do on a different computer because uh there's always some network cache going on sometimes so i'm on a different computer here and i go to that media.casasmexicos.com and it's working perfectly. So I know that the CDN is now set up to that domain, which is great. And I just wanna illustrate that this is really serving that file if I go here and then, boom. So now we're connected to a CDN, this is great. So in the next video, we'll go ahead and set up that WordPress website so it's connected to the CDN as well. So we're reading and writing files from uh, from S3 and CloudFront.